Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. This is Erin. 안녕하세요 여러분, Erin입니다. 삼식입니다. 아, 그거 이제 안 해. 어. <웃음> 이거 이거 이거. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If it's your first time, please don't forget to subscribe and give me that thumbs up. Good morning. I slept so good and I'm ready to start the day. Of course, today's gonna be busy as well. But guys, remember from last video, my memory card was full and I didn't acknowledge it. And I was just talking to myself for like an hour for nothing. To prevent that, I actually bought myself a new memory card and it's four times bigger than what I was using. But I just wanna thank all of you guys for watching my videos. I bought this with my YouTube money, so. Thank you guys. And I'm gonna continue to make my content just for you guys, my very few subscribers who actually like watching my videos. Thank you. So today is a pamper day for Cookie. Cookie is appointment at eight o'clock. We're gonna go to PetSmart. He looks so messy. He needs to get a haircut. Okay, let's get going. Okay, let's go. Is that happy? Can you jump? No? Okay, come here. Oh. He loves riding the car. Let's go get you pampered, okay? Cookie, fasten your seatbelt. We're about to go. Sit down. We just got to Pet Smart, but we got here about 20 minutes early. So before we go in, I'm gonna make grocery list real quick. After I drop Cookie off, I'm gonna go straight to Whole Foods. Cookie, oh, Chim, you're messing up my window again. Oh my god, that is so cute. People in the neighborhood, they all walking their dogs together. Cookie needs a friends like that, huh? You're so happy, Cookie. Do you know where you're going? Oh my gosh, guys, Cookie was tripping. I don't know why, but he just loves his groomer. It's gonna take about two to three hours. Let's go ahead and get groceries. It's raining right now. It's cold and wet. I hate this. Maybe it's the best time to come here because there's nobody. Hello, good morning. Thank you. I love coming to grocery shopping early in the morning when they open because there's less people. Let's go to Korea market and grab a few things. By the way, y'all probably questioning like, why is she not dyeing her hair? But guys, I am growing my grays out actually. I wanna accept my aging process and just grow it out because look, it's like kind of growing like highlights, <laughs> I think. I'm growing my grays out. People pay for gray hair anyway, and I used to pay for gray hair anyway. Now I actually have my own natural gray hair, so. I just got here, but they don't open until nine. It's like 8.40, so I'm gonna stay in my car and kill some time. I hate waiting. I'm a very impatient person. Well, anyways, seems like people start pulling up and it seems like people start walking in there, so. I just need to grab a few things like gochugaru and stuff like that. It's gonna be in and out. Maybe I grab some snack or something. Cause I'm hungry. Okay, the gochugaru I bought last time was way too spicy. Mm. I'm trying to find gochugaru from Korea, but it seems like they don't have it here. So 
So guys, yesterday um, when I was at work, actually when I woke up, I was getting ready. But then all of a sudden I started having like irritation. So I knew it was going to be a rough day. When I got to work, I was fine. You know, work is not even stressful. I was chilling at work. And then a panic attack started hitting me out of nowhere. So oh, my heart was pounding for hours and hours and hours. I couldn't bring my heart rate down and you stay around like 110, 120. Whenever panic attack happens, you feel like you're gonna die or you're like drowning. And it's so frustrating because when that happens, I don't know why it started. Not like anxieties. Panic's a little bit different. It's like sudden fear of dying which you cannot control and this happens even there is no immediate danger or triggers around you that's what panic attacks are i had a rough day yesterday and i actually wanted to film myself to show you guys what it's like but i couldn't even get to do that i was shaking like my hands were like this my lips were shaking people were asking me if i was okay i really wanted to go home but then i had responsibilities and i only had a few more hours left anyway you know so i just stayed i got home and i started calm down a little bit but then i checked my phone because of my heart rate and probably because of like the shaking my apple watch thought that i was working out so this is what happened when i was at work it says i worked out over an hour guys i didn't even work out yesterday whenever the panic is gone you feel exhausted that's how i felt yesterday it, it was just so bad i cried so much and i started reading you guys comments and i started feeling much better i felt loved cared i really wish i can do the same to you guys in return but i just want to let you guys know that i'm super grateful whoever is watching my videos or like my videos and you guys are also a huge part of me so so thank you thank you and thank you um i just got a phone call from cookies groomer that he is ready to go so i'm back here to pick him up so i hope you guys are ready to see the cute version well-groomed version of cookie So Cookie's back home and it's 12.30. This time I'm not gonna forget to eat lunch. I'm gonna eat kimbap and kimchi mandu. Ooh! Mandu and kimbap party all by myself. Woo! 잘 먹겠습니다. This looks hot. I'm gonna wait. Let's eat kimbap first. Kimbap is always good. You can never fail kimbap. I normally don't really drink soda, but when you eat kimbap, you need it. I'm probably not gonna finish the whole thing. My husband gets mad at me all the time. Do you guys think the mandu cool down already? Kiyokke? I got kimchi mandu, it's spicy guys. <sighs> what the f All right guys, so I'm going to make chicken adobo. It is a Filipino dish, one of my favorite, and it's also my husband's favorite as well. It reminds me a lot of changjurim, like soy sauce braised the meat. The simple ingredient is very easy to make, and it's delicious. The main thing that you have to have for this dish is the soy sauce and vinegar. And as a bonus recipe, I'm gonna show you guys how to make fried rice with leftover adobo. It's so good. It has garlicky, buttery, and savory. Mm. Let's start with the ingredients. 
I'm using chicken drumsticks and chicken thighs. I know many of you guys don't like the skin, but you know what? I don't taste so much better with the chicken skin. Just black pepper corn. We're gonna need about a little over one teaspoon of this. You need the soy sauce and salt, sugar, and don't forget vinegar. I used the apple cider vinegar before because that was the only vinegar I had, but it was a little too strong. So I recommend you to use just regular rice vinegar and also bay leaves. You're gonna need about four to five. And for garlic, we're gonna need at least five cloves. Prepare a large bowl and we're going to marinate the chicken first. And we're going to add 10 tablespoons of soy sauce. This recipe that I'm cooking today, it will yield about five to six servings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like hypertension, huh? And we'll need the garlic. You don't need to mince the garlic. Like I like to simply crush it. This is it. That's all I do. So once all the chicken is coated with the soy sauce, we're going to cover this and marinate it for at least two to three hours. I like to do this overnight. That's the best. Okay, time to mix the rice. Time to cook adobo. Can you see me? Can you guys see me? Okay, so get... <laughs> okay, so bring out the largest saucepan you have at home. Preheat. Okay, let's see if... Oh, it's hot. Let's see if my pan is ready to go. To check it, we're gonna do mercury test. Wet your hand a little bit and... Let me show you guys. Do you see this? That means it's ready to go. You see how it's all marinated already? It looks salty, but we're gonna add some water anyway. It takes some of the crushed garlic that we put it in here earlier, and we're gonna cook this with the oil first. So add some oil. And we're gonna add the meat. We're going to cook it about two minutes each side. Just to brown it. Okay, let's flip this. Perfect. After two minutes, we're gonna dump all of this. The sauce and the garlic and everything. And then we're going to add two and a half cup of water. And we're going to bring this to boil. Okay, when it starts to boil, we're going to add the peppercorns and bay leaves. I'm gonna put five bay leaves. One, two and one teaspoon of black peppercorn. And we're gonna bring the heat down to low heat, cover, and simmer for 30 minutes. I got about five more minutes. I'm just gonna leave this open. So it's been 30 minutes. My husband just called me, he's almost home. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add the vinegar in here. We're going to need four to five tablespoons of vinegar and then stir this. You're probably gonna think this is a weird combination, but trust me. Alexa, set the timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. I'm just gonna add the sugar right now. You don't need to, but this is to just balance it out, the saltiness. You just need one teaspoon. I cannot wait to show you guys the adobo fried rice. I actually make adobo just to eat that fried rice. Alexa, stop the timer. It's been 10 minutes, so I'm gonna turn off the heat. We're going to remove all the bay leaves. <laughs> My husband is home. Hi, babe. Hi. It smells good, right? Mine. Mm. It's tender. Mm. Mm. <coughs> it's good.
Good with the rice. Always. Mmm. No mm. Now, pop that. How much more does it mean? Just one bite. It's just so good with the rice. Home or chicken. So good. Mm. It's so good. Never do that. It's all seasoned all the way in. I can still taste it. All right, guys. It's been two days since I made this adobo. And for Sunday dinner, I'm going to make butter garlic adobo fried rice. So it's very simple. You just need the leftover adobos and rice, butter, and some garlic. Let's go ahead and mince this garlic real quick. This is optional, but you can have a fried eggs on top. I'm gonna make about three servings so we can have it for dinner tonight. And my husband can take it for lunch tomorrow. Let's preheat the skillet. And while it's preheating, I'm gonna dip on the meat. I try to separate all the peppercorns so it doesn't get into the fried rice. I'm gonna add some butter and then we're gonna add some garlic. Well, I'm not gonna use all butter. I'm just gonna save just a little bit for the end of this cooking. So. And once the garlic turns a little golden, we'll add the meat and the juice. I'm gonna take this few peppercorns out. And then we're gonna add the rice. Okay, make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. I'm gonna add the rest of the butter. And turn off the heat. This one without eggs is for my husband's lunch tomorrow. Try this. I don't want to show you guys my face today because I look like I haven't showered. I've just been doing homework all day. But I'm still gonna be doing kiyopke. Mmm. Mmm. Maestro. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good. Okay, guys, so this is it for today's video. I'm gonna finish my food, get ready for tomorrow, and go to sleep. I'm gonna shower before sleep though. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video today. And I'll be back with another video soon. Until then, peace! Oh, my stuff. <laughs>